my friends. It's me, Lucid. I hope everyone is having a wonderful summer. Thank you all for being patient with me. My life has always something going on, so I apologize for the gap this past month, but I have something new for you here. This story was written by a very good friend of mine. He wishes to remain anonymous, but he would like a story to be told. That being said, relax. Grab a snack and let's get ready to drift off into this tale. It was early autumn when I decided to take a solo hike through Tuscarora Forest, a place I often visited with friends, but never alone. The air was crisp and the leaves had just started to turn, painting the wood in shades of orange and red. I wanted some time to myself, away from the noise and hustle of daily life. The trail was familiar, winding through dense trees and along a bubbling creek. As I walked deeper into the forest, the sounds of civilization faded away, replaced by the rustling of leaves and the occasional call of a distant bird. It was peaceful, just what I needed. After a couple of hours, I reached a clearing where the sun broke through the canopy, illuminating the forest floor in a warm, golden light. I sat down on a fallen log to take a break and enjoy the solitude. That's when I first heard it. The faint crunch of footsteps on dried leaves. I looked around but saw nothing. Figuring it was just an animal, I shrugged it off and continued my hike. But the feeling of being watched lingered. Every few minutes, I'd hear those footsteps again, always stopping when I stopped, never coming close enough for me to see who or what it was. My heart rate quickened, but I tried to stay calm, telling myself it was all in my head. As the sun dipped lower in the sky, casting long shadows, the trail became harder to see. I decided it was time to head back. I picked up my pace, hoping to reach my car before darkness fell completely. The footsteps grew louder, more deliberate, matching my speed. I glanced over my shoulder, my eyes scanning the darkening woods. Nothing. Panic set in. I broke into a run. Branches snagging my clothes and scratching my face. The footsteps quickened too, now unmistakably human. My mind raced with possibilities. Was someone trying to play a prank on me? Or was it something far more sinister? I stumbled and fell, my knees hitting the ground hard. Pain shot through my legs but I forced myself up. Adrenaline overriding everything else. I could hear the footsteps closing in, just a few feet behind me now. Desperation fueled my escape. Finally, I saw the trailhead and my car parked just beyond it. With a final burst of energy, I sprinted towards my vehicle, fumbling for my keys. I threw myself into the driver's seat, slamming the door shut and locking it. My hands were shaking so badly, I could barely get the key into the ignition. As the engine roared to life, I looked back one last time. Standing at the edge of the trees was a figure cloaked in the shadows. I couldn't make out any details, but I could feel its eyes watching me. 
I didn't wait to find out who or what it was. I soon sped out of the parking lot, not slowing down until I was miles away from the forest. To this day, I don't know who followed me or why, but every time I think about going back to those woods, a chill runs down my spine, and I remember the sound of footsteps crunching on those dried leaves, always just out of sight. Hey guys, it's me Lucid. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe. I will have a new video out this Saturday. So with that being said, have a beautiful evening. And as always, the dark is simply the answer.